And did you have any siblings, brothers or sisters? Not, not first. I've had some siblings. Shall we? Like the old one. Because, you know, I am still a resident of the state of California. No, you're not. The contrary to popular belief, I have to be a resident, a resident of still California for a variety of reasons. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not, I'm not a resident at my mom's address. You're not a resident anywhere right now. But don't worry about that. I'll address all that later. It's going to be a long show today. Why? Because I have a guest I am incredibly psyched about. And um, we've been waiting. And on, I believe, maybe... Listen to his voice. It's getting worse and worse. I'm wrong, but on the birthday of his father, he decided to come on this show. And I am honored and both proud to bring on Michael Caputo. Hey, Mike. How are you doing, John? How you, it's been a long time. <laughs> it has been a long time. So for everybody who doesn't know, Pat Cooper's real name was Pasquale Caputo. Pasquale and... Vito Caputo. Yep. yep. See, I remember these things, Mike. Uh. <laughs> and and this, is, this is the star of the great saga on the... Uh, on the Stern Show was all in Pat Cooper's family. Family feud. Pat Cooper was great on ONA. He loved those guys. He had a ball. You get a chance, they're still on. Go look through YouTube for Pat Cooper ONA. And it include you, Michael. And I got I know you said you emailed me that clip, so I, I should play it. I emailed, play it if you want, play it. It's on your phone also. Okay. Uh... Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, I, uh, uh, sorry, I'm a little late. I, I was getting uh, dicked over at the gym. I don't see it on this uh, one. Is it, is it on the other one? On the email, you sent me the link to this, uh, to uh, this show. It's also on your text. I'm glad you got so cleaned up to go to the gym. Message. Oh, I have it. Uh, uh, wait, oh, no, no, that's the legend. Uh, okay, here it is. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll now play this. New list. I'll play this. So, so I'll just let you know. I'll just let you know that, Michael. So, you know, I went to the drugstore, and I got so dicked over today, I had to go back there four times because between the doctors and, and the drugstore, they couldn't figure it out. So what I, I left at 11 a.m. this morning... I didn't get out of the drugstore until 1 p.m. to get my to get my meds that I need because I'm on a benzo for OCD and if I don't take it, I'll, I'll have a seizure. Right, right, right. Benzos and alcohol, good stuff. And Klonopin, good stuff. And then I went to the gym because I gotta go to the gym because I gotta do that for the ladies. You know what I mean, Michael? Right, I get it. I get it. I get it. He keeps doing that same line. Come on, John, you're a writer and a comedian. Come up with something different each time, not the same one over and over again. Here is the famous bit, all in Pat Cooper's family. I was, I remember this all like it was yesterday. Granted, I have elephant's memory, but I do remember, I remember the whole thing, so here we go. I remember the whole thing. This fall, a brand new TV program. What do you get when you reunite an overly sensitive cat skill comedian? Because of the abyss is what I do on our stage. That's my profession. A son he hasn't seen in quite a while. Kiss no, my rock. Kiss How my do you butt. know I don't say that? Because I know you're not the How kind of guy to do that. How so you go which way the wind is. I know what kind of guy I am because I haven't been around for 32 years. A daughter <laughs> abandoned moments after birth. You left me in a hospital. I was two I left you. Who, 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 who told you I that? I was two weeks Who told you that? Who told you that? Let me just ask you that. Answer my question. Go watch on O&A. So much better and improv and creative. Who told you that? Were you there for any one of my birthdays? No. He, we, went, we survived COVID and we started an Instagram account for him. And uh, 
we've been through a lot, but I was able to get him to talk to Michael. And I think Michael, you got a lot of questions answered that, you know, and look, Pat mellowed out in the end. He really did. Um, he was still Pat. And I tell people, the good news is Pat is still Pat. The bad news is Pat is still Pat. You know, no <laughs> one would say, people would always say, so, uh, so Emily, was he any different than, you know, with you? You know, I was, I was like, not really. Nobody was really safe, you know, but uh, he was an interesting guy. There was no question, but. Um, how did, how did Pat, what was Pat's move? What was his first line to you that got you to fall in love with him? It, he told me at one point, he said, I've been working on you. It, it, it was a long, I've known Pat since 2010. I met him at his book party at the Friars Club. Oh, okay. And he, um, I, he lived around the corner from me. After I broke up with Jackie, I, I moved back to my 180 Weston Avenue apartment, which was right around the corner from Pat's apartment. And uh, we spent a lot of time West together. Uh, up just, West Side, just nice. it was fun. He, and I, I'd go see him at the diner in the morning on the way to work. Uh, you know, he'd get me all jazzed up because he would go to the same place every morning at uh, 72nd and Weston Avenue. And I'd pop in there for coffee. And you know, he was just fun. I mean, the guy was just fun to be around all the time. Uh, he'd get crazy. That thing is still on the Who corner. Who to be funnier, Pat or Jackie? <laughs> well, do I, do I really need to answer that question? Pat <laughs> uh, was the funniest joke. person That's I've ever met. Joke. Yeah, Nobody else did. That was a lot. John's gonna laugh at his own joke. Nobody else did. Jackie, I know. <laughs> well, you know, oranges, basically. It's right? like an I mean, old drunk. You know, Pat would always Almost say, drunk. "I don't tell jokes." You see the street. You know, ah. I, I'm just funny. Script. You see, kind of put the script aside and went out there, did it in one take, didn't even hang out, and just went home. That was him. He he talked to me sometimes like that. I mean, you know. <laughs> Wasn't he in a mob movie too? Analyze this and analyze that. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I, know, I know. Did he like De Niro? Uh, yeah, he did not like him. De Niro wasn't exactly warm and fuzzy, you know? No, no, he's not. He's not. Because yeah. I remember when John De Niro was a guest on The Tonight Show. Yeah, now it's about Jay John. Like, he didn't dis Now it's about John. Like him, but he couldn't handle him because he would never really talk. He would Those are your guests. They're supposed to do the talking, stupid. You're supposed to listen and interview never answered questions and he was yeah. yeah i saw that i saw that interview he's not a good he doesn't get interviewed he's well. pulling teeth when you talk to the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. so um but we haven't um we're gonna continue pat's legacy as best we can without and then and then you have the other way around where you know like well like pat... you know well you know, a lot of that know, john many... to be very honest with you, my father had met somebody in 1960 he was cheating on my mother when my mother was pregnant with my sister and a lot of that uh distancing facilitated that she tried to drive a wedge for, th for 35 years between me and my father why she kept him at it now i know it takes two to tango but she had a lot to do with it so if i would call vegas she would always answer the call say he wasn't there why and because that's who she was jesus that's who she was now i got a stepmother like john stop being stupid like this so this is like an angel from god yeah. Michael, Emily, I know I'm fucking compelling, but I didn't know I was. Dead. It's about me, 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 me. Not compelling. <laughs> I mean, how they the don't, fucking? I, I mean, they don't care about the dabble verse. Interview them, stupid. I must be the fuck that other guy. I am the most interesting man in the world. Well, I think it's a, I think it's a form of jealousy <laughs> or flattery. Yeah. Shut up, it's, stupid. It's, it's, it should be flattered. Yes. That's why crazy. I wanted to give you the exclusive, John. Nobody got this advice to talk to Emily because I knew you knew Emily. Nobody wants this exclusive. Yeah, and you know, time. See, it, like, 